Hi. How are you? Good to see you guys. Thank you so much for being here on this live with me today. My name is Eddie Toro Majek, and I am the founder and creator of The Inner Experience, a online platform that provides uh, education and um, spiritual um, information um, on coaching women on being a better person, being a better better self. Um, so today's topic. So for the past for the past four days, uh, I have been doing a be the support you desire challenge um, in order to um, strengthen your inner being. Um, so. So the reason why I did this um, five-day challenge was because I was dealing with trying to figure out how I'm supposed to be there for myself and, and how I should be my best supporter. Um, so I thought, okay, um, why not just go through this challenge and um, share it with whoever else might want that for themselves. Um, so there, this was like spur of the moment. There was no um, sign up here type of thing. If you caught this live, um, you caught it. And if you didn't catch it, obviously there's replays. It's also on my YouTube channel. And I'll also be doing it again because I think it's really important that we start implementing actions to kind of create a go-to formula for building ourselves up, for believing in ourselves, and for going after what it is that we desire as women of color, as women in general, as um, as as spiritual beings on this planet. So today's topic is creating a sense of self or having a sense of self, like truly understanding um, who you are and what you're about and what you, what you want people to get from you the minute they see you. So, um, Today's topic is a really deep topic for me because this is what I am all about. I am about having a sense of self in order for me to, to know how to navigate um, this world, to know how to navigate relationships, to know how to navigate encounters, circumstances, and situations. Um, so this has been something that um, has naturally and organically kind of manifested in my life because um, it's something that I purposefully um, sought after for myself throughout the years of my life. Um, I would say ever since I was in high school. Um, so I don't know if any of my like high school um, classmates might be seeing this, but yes, girl, when I was in high school and um, I was that scrawny little girl um, from Schenectady, New York, went to Schenectady High School, I was someone who was constantly trying to figure out who they were and what they what value do they have to offer um in this world or in this life um so at that time it was a really like and i think it's like that for all of us like how high school is a really difficult time for us where we're trying to become our own person but at the same time you're also trying to meet the needs of your parents and your siblings and um, people you look up to and respect, like um, mentors and teachers and coaches. Um, 
So yeah, so all of these uh, voices and ideas and um, circumstances, and when I mean circumstances, I'm talking about like um, ways that people expect you to be, ways that people want you to be. We're all um, just compounding on me as a high school teenager, but at the same time, trying to figure out what I'm about, who I am, what I stand for. And so as I got older, it even got more, more defined, more detailed. So now it's it was more about, okay, so I know what I like, I know what I don't like, I know who I like to surround myself with, I know who I don't like to surround myself with. Um, so then in college it was about like, okay, um, what type of person am I going to be? Am I going to be someone who's integral or am I going to be someone who's manipulative or am I going to be someone who just doesn't give a F and do whatever the heck I want to do? Or am I going to be someone who's kind and considerate and um, likes to not like throw things off balance? And I think that's the type of person I was. I was always someone who was like, okay, I want to do the right thing. I want people to um, like me. I want people to want to um, be around me. I want people to respect me. And so my uh, my college years were weren't necessarily about me trying to be the popular kid or the popular person, but it was more about me trying to um, <laughs> to be honest, uh, get the f up out of there because it was not it was not it was not the I don't even want to curse, but it was not what I thought it was all about. It was very stressful. It was a lot of work, and I barely, like, even though I can't say I barely did um, any social activities, because actually, college was the funnest time um, for me, but I digress. But it was definitely more about getting out, and then... I focus into my adulthood and that even gets deeper and then it's about like well what am I going to stand for and what am I not going to stand for who am I going to allow to treat me this way and who am I not going to allow to treat me like what are my what are my standards what are my breaking points what am I what are my um hands down I am not accepting this sort of um treatment from you um and and then I had to bring that back to myself so I think with that I was kind of like outwardly focused but now I had to bring it into me um so who, how am I going to treat people how how do I want people to treat me when they see me how do I want people to to um, understand me or know me when I get into an argument or I get into a conversation or um, how do I want people to to think of me when they see me and the way that I'm presented um, even deeper than that um, <laughs> just a ton of just a ton of like um, Gosh darn it, I can't think of the word, but a ton of like um knowing. It's it's definitely knowing yourself and it's definitely about being able to decipher um who you are amongst other people. Because it's not about trying to be something you're not but it's about trying to be okay with who you are so i just had a thought in my head and i feel like it slipped but basically the thought that was in my head had to do with um 
knowing your habits, knowing your traits, knowing your downfalls, knowing your failures, knowing your expectations, um, knowing even if you don't have expectations for certain people, certain situations, uh, specific conditions. So creating a sense of self really boils down to knowing every aspect about you and then always either returning to that um, person in, in each and every single situation you might face, knowing how to cope, knowing how to deal with them, um, and just understanding that understanding that these are a part of your personality traits. Um, so for me, I, I don't like getting up early in the morning. That's just not who I am. That's not the way that I was built to work. So I am not a 6 a.m. I'm not a 7 a.m. I'm not even an 8 a.m. person. Um, and I'm okay with that. Um, what else? Uh, so knowing that okay, I'm someone who's really sensitive. I'm someone who cries um, quite easily. Um, I'm someone who's empathetic. I'm someone who can feel other people's emotions or I'm very intuitive. Um, someone who can read people. I'm someone who's very spiritual. I'm someone who won't stand for uh, a person talking down to them. So these are just ideas and examples of what it means to be someone who has a sense of the, of their of their self um, or of themselves. Um, so uh, creating a sense of yourself or creating a sense of self is understanding who you are in each and every scenario that might come up. Um, knowing yourself in the way that you act when you're on vacation, knowing who you are when you're in a corporate setting, knowing who you are when you're with your husband or when you're with your uh, significant other or who you are or who you become when you're around your family. And um, just being in aware of um, your actions and your emotions and your um, responses to to these different um, places that you occupy to the to these different states that you occupy um, so yeah so today's challenge focuses on you trying to delve deeper into understanding the different nuances of your character, the different nuances of your personality, the different nuances of your being. Um, really developing, I don't wanna say really developing, but yeah, no, it is that, sorry. So yeah, really developing a greater understanding, a greater knowing that you have, sorry, a greater knowing that, okay, I'm sorry, that, that was correct. So a greater knowing that, that you have in order to, in order to be able to be that confident self in front of anyone, anytime, anywhere. So it's truly, so that is my call to you becoming more confident within yourself by knowing who you are and the way that you are, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, no matter how other people are reacting in any, in any event, in any um, room, in any um, circumstance. Um, so if the entire room is is becoming some crazy mob over someone who who might have um, said a racist slur or something, and you're the type of person who is more of of a conversational person, 
of someone who would sit down with that person. So what what are your feelings around um, a specific group or whatever? So knowing that it's not about going with the crowd, but it's about coming back to you and knowing like, okay, I'm not the type of person who would just start um, a riot or 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 start like an attack or or be someone who's violent. I'm the type of person who would sit down with this person and want to understand them and want to give them um, time and want and would want to give them space and would want to give them space to like um, to to hear what they have to say um, for them to express themselves. So it's just knowing who you are in a crowd, who you are in a room, who you are uh, when you're by yourself and um, being, being that person, no matter what the, no matter what the conditions are, no matter who's in the room, no matter what's going on. And that is creating a sense of self. So sit with yourself sometime today and kind of start start thinking and start like journaling how you know yourself to be when you're by yourself, when you're in a room, when you're with your family, when you're when you're on vacation, when you're with your loved one, a partner, um, when you're with your friends. Um, who is and what is the person you are? So, my name is Ade Taroma Jack. I am the owner, creator, and founder of the In Her Experience. I hope this was a great challenge for you today. Um, if you've been a part of this uh, week's this this challenge, the um, be the desire, be the support you desire challenge. I'm always messing that up. But if you have been a part of this challenge for the last four days, please connect with me. Please let me know. You can leave comments on my Facebook Live. Um, you can leave comments on my Instagram. You can DM me. Um, you can leave comments on the post under under any of the days that you've you've um, have been a part of or have been watching or have implementing um, in your life this week. Um, I'm really looking forward to hearing from you, please. I would love some engagement. I would love some feedback. Um, it was a pleasure doing this. Tomorrow uh, is day five. Please stay tuned as we will discuss the topic of freedom. What freedom can be for you. Thank you so much, and I will see you tomorrow for the last day of, these, of this amazing challenge. Be the support you desire. Bye.